All right, so hello, hello, everyone. Hello. All right, so good evening, everyone. All right, so I have over here a tocayo, you know, Mr. Francisco Gonzalez, yeah, right here. So, do you have any idea how to say tocayo in English? Man. No. No idea in there? Let me let me start with, with this, all right? Let me start with that. You gotta say it just like this. Nice, nice. Namesake. Namesake, that's how you say. So you're my namesake over here, boy. <laughs> nice, so we're going to start with this. Um, so, so far we have 13 participants. So my name is Jose Francisco Alfaro. I'm gonna be your, your teacher, I would say tutor, hopefully your friend during this journey, which is going to end on December the 10th. You know, Christmas is just around the corner. And I think this is going to be the last module of the year. Creo que este es el último eh, módulo del año. And with this one, we're going to uh, finish, you know, with, with a great um, motivation. Okay, so that's the point over here. Uh, let me just uh, wait for more people to join this class. And then we take it from there. Okay, we start with that. All right. In this class, where I'm going to speak, if you allow me, let's say 90% English and let's say 10% Spanish. Because I think that you're here to speak English, to practice English and to become better, right? You know, to be better at English. And let me tell you something. I learned English or, or I first started to learn English when I was almost 18 years old here in El Salvador. But then I have the chance, you know, to study, you know, out of here. But I've been where you are right now. So I understand your situation. It's difficult. It takes time. You know, it takes a lot of uh, nights awake, okay? And you sacrifice your family. You sacrifice your time. But trust me, the sacrifices that, that you uh, make right now are going to pay off, you know, are going to be beneficial for, for you. So nine o'clock for you, you, being, you, you had a, a long day at work. Right now there's an emergency, right? There's an emergency because of a hurricane, because of a tropical storm. Is that correct? Or that we are under alert because of this uh, hurricane, Iota, right? Because of that. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but here we are, you know, trying to, como pinky cerebro, right? Tratar de conquistar el mundo, right? like that, right? So, and that's what we have in our minds, okay? And that's the motivation that we're going to have. You can stop me at any time. You can say, teacher, I have a question, or vayase más despacio, you can tell me, slow down, teacher, well, I don't understand this, etc. cetera. But it, it, for the next five more minutes, I'm going to explain to you how this class will move. Okay, how we're going to work in this class. So just give me five minutes and then we're going to start. So I have in this class, I can see from right to, to uh, I'm sorry, from my left to my right, Mr. Francisco Gonzalez. I have Mr. Jose Arturo Ramirez, Mr. Mauricio Lima, Miss or Mrs. Isabel Vieda, Miss Jasmine Perez, uh, Mrs. Uh, or Miss uh, Ana Ruth Hernandez, Mr. Fernando Miranda, hello over there, Mrs. Jacqueline Orantes, Mrs. Isabel Acosta, and I have Karen Quintanilla, Mr. Juan Solis, Alma Chinchilla, Miss Alma Chinchilla, Mr. Christopher, Ana Silvia Mor uh, what's the last name in here? I can see it. And then Mr. Kevin Torres, you know, with the locks in there in his hair, in his hair, his hair in Janeta Street, etc. So I think this is gonna be a full class and I'm happy for that. You know, the bigger a class, the better for you. In esta clase vamos a practicar, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna practice, all right? Maybe tonight you're gonna hear me speak a little bit more. But starting, let's say tomorrow, you're going to speak a little bit more, okay? 
And that's my promise. Y no promesa de campaña, ¿verdad? That's the promise. <laughs> that's the promise, uh, you know, I'm giving you. You know, I'm shaking the hand with you. Le estoy así estrechando la mano a cada uno de ustedes, dándoles, ¿verdad? Es, haciéndoles esa promesa. And that's the way it's going to be. Comencemos, pues. Let's get started. Como la canción de los Black Eyed Peas, ¿verdad? Let's get started. Um, so let me just one second come over here. Please, let me know. Yo sé que esto es un módulo pre-intermediate, ¿verdad? But we are in the 21st century. You listen to music in English. You watch YouTube. You know, you watch the news. Uh, you watch the programs. You have some YouTubers, etc. You read in English. You travel maybe to the United States. You have family in the States visiting you. Entonces, English, it's, it's there, you know. Está así como cerquita. Casi lo, lo tocamos, ¿verdad? Pero we're still a little bit far, you know, from there. Okay. And in this class, we're going to get close to English. You know, we're going to get close to English. That's the idea over here. Así que, nice to meet you, everyone. All I want to say, it's nice to meet you. All right? Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I also have, uh, let's see here. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Let me just one second. Um, quizás para que escuchemos un poquito mejor, les voy a poner en, en mudo, ¿verdad? Sus, sus micrófonos por un momento. Ok. Ahí está. Muchas gracias. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, permítame. Voy a buscar la presentation over here que se me, me la escondieron. <laughs> Permítanme un momento. All right. Uh, in the meantime, over here, um, you're free to say something over here. You can say it in Spanish or English. Yo no lo voy a juzgar, no lo voy a corregir así. Este, eh, porque estamos en el mismo, ¿verdad? En las mismas condiciones. Uh, let me just one second. Here we go. Por aquí está esto. All right. So just one second, me here. Here we go. All right, so this is the presentation, the one we're going to start with tonight. And hopefully we're going to cover one, two, or three topics all over this. So you may say, teacher, que si potestad, está bien bicho. Yes, I'm 30 years old, okay? But I've been in this business, I've been in this business for the last nine years, okay? Nine, almost nine years. I'm also a full-time teacher during the day. I work at a private school. I work with teenagers. Okay, I, I teach English and I teach some other stuff, right? So, and just to write this down, si pueden apuntar, if you can write this down or to get a photographic, you know, a screenshot out of this. The first day of classes, November the 3rd. I'm sorry, no, it's not November the 3rd, you know, that November the 16th. Retrocedí en el tiempo, señores. Sorry about that. November the 16th, over there. There we go. So November the 16th until December the 10th, which means we start today, which is a Monday, and when we finish on a Thursday, December the 10th. Exactly 20 business dates for us to practice and cover five lessons. Acuérdense que eh, la plataforma tiene cinco lecciones, and then we're supposed to cover at least one lesson and a half per week. En cuatro días cubrimos una lección y media. And what, what I do is, I use the same information from the platform, but I try to make it more uh, interactive, ¿verdad? more appealing, you know, más atractiva, you know, more attractive for you. The, the same exercises that you do in the platform are the same exercises that you have a chance to practice here with me. Entonces, if you join the class at 9 p.m., Every single day, you're going to have the opportunity to review. Van a tener la oportunidad de repasar and to practice. Lo que usted practica de forma escrita, what you practice, you know, in a writing way, in the platform. In here, it's your chance, it's your opportunity. Es su oportunidad, it's your opportunity to practice this. Aquí puede cometer errores. No problem. Okay. In the platform as well, you can make as many mistakes as possible. Pero aquí ponemos a prueba, ¿verdad? Si sí, vamos avanzando en el conocimiento. And I will say this in Spanish. Me interesa mucho que haga la plataforma, pero me interesa más que usted aprenda. 
Okay, eso me interesa más. Right. All right, so that's what matters the most to me. If you practice and if you put into practice this. So uh, let's go ahead with this. Uh, second point in agenda to, uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Every single class, and I want to underline this, lo vamos así a subrayar, ¿verdad? Every single class, we're going to start with this, con una sección, digamos, with this section, que yo suelo llamar, you know, to this program, a este programa que se llama clase, you know, to this TV show that I call a uh, class, se llama the word of the night, or the word of the evening. ¿Qué significa? What does this mean? What it means is that I'm going to share with you vocabulary word. And keep this in mind. Al final, es decir, que antes del 10 de diciembre, before December the 10th, yo le voy a pedir, ya sea de forma escrita, you know, in a, in a written way, or maybe in a spoken way, con un audio, it doesn't matter, le voy a pedir evidencia del vocabulario que le voy a compartir. And that's the only thing I'm going to ask from you, you know, something big. Of course, si ustedes gustan, you know, if you like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you some homework, which is going to be optional. O sea, aparte de la plataforma, yo voy a dejar como ejercicios, no siempre y no todas las semanas, para que ustedes practiquen, ¿verdad? Y me lo manden a mí si gustan una corrección mejor o mayor. Okay, and that's, you know, the promise uh, I'm going to keep with you. So tonight, I have two words. Cost an arm and a leg, and then two left feet. But because we don't have time, you know, and the time is money, we're just going to study the first one, okay? La primera palabra de la noche y la de solamente de esta noche, okay? Let me just one second over here. Bueno, antes de que continúe, no sé, is there any questions before I continue? Or are we okay? Are we good, everyone? Yeah. Are we okay? All right. So I appreciate that. All right. Uh, so here we go. So every single class, we're going to start with a vocabulary word, which you're supposed to keep track of. You know, you write the word down and then you write what the meaning is, or at least what I'm telling everybody is that at the end of, of this module, by December 10th, you're gonna have at least 20 vocabulary words or 20 phrases to practice with, okay? So, cost an arm and a leg. What costs an arm and a leg? When something costs an arm and a leg, it's very expensive. Notice the following. Housing these dates cost an arm and a leg. College cost me an arm and a leg. This happens in the United States. This also happens in El Salvador as well. Okay. What would be a translation to this phrase in Spanish? What would be a translation to this phrase in Spanish? Can somebody tell me? What would be a translation for this? Somebody says, yes, me teacher, I think it, this means in Spanish, I don't know. Alguien que nos pueda eh, iluminar, que significa cost mm -hmm. an arm and a leg? Yeah, Christopher, mm -hmm. yeah. Excuse me? See, the, the arm is, is, is brazo in, in Spanish and leg is Pierna. It's pierna, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But since right now, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, sir. Yes, Francisco, go ahead, sir. This is like uh, to say, and hold how, on, Frank. How, mm -hmm. we, how we can say here in El Salvador, and A, hey, and I, of <laughs> you're, you're right, right. Me costó un ojo de la yeah. cara, right? You're right. You yeah. got it, sir. You got it, yes. Is that what you were going to say, Frank, Mr. Gonzalez? Yeah, it's, the it's the same thing. All it's right. Same. Yes. Now, just keep in mind that these idioms, so se llama, in, in English son idioms or the idiomatic expressions. In Espanol, la llamamos dichos. Okay? So that's what we say. Como matar un pájaro de, 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 no, matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro, we say that. And my idea is this, you know, to give you real vocabulary that you're going to listen to in a series, ¿verdad? Si tiene televisión por cable o si tiene uh, uh, on-demand TV, 
you're going to listen to this vocabulary word. Like you say, Mr. Ramirez is in the Sabbath, we says to court an eye, right? Of the face. That's what we say, right? <laughs> but in English, but in English, we don't say that. In English, it's actually worse. Es peor. Se queda, verdad? Without a norm and without a leg. <laughs> so in Spanish, you know, it's only an eye. You, you can still survive. <laughs> okay, so try to remember this. Si usted dice, el, 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 un pequeño comercial, ¿verdad? El iPhone, or I don't know, this one, is, it's, it's very expensive, like a thousand dollars or more. You can say, that costs an arm and a leg. Okay, todo el aguinaldo, ahí se va, vea. <laughs> De dos años el aguinaldo. <laughs> yeah, two years in a row, right? That's the point in here. Okay, so that's the word for tonight. But what matters to me, ladies and gentlemen, is this, getting to know each other. But don't worry about it. No les voy a poner a decirle presente, si no nos va a agarrar Navidad, fíjense, si hacemos eso. O sea, it's not that I really don't want to, to get to know you, but we're going to do it in a more interactive way. You know, we're going to do this in a more interactive way. And this is what we have. Y no se me vayan a asustar con la indicación que está por acá, por favor. Right? Don't get scared, please. Don't get scared. No vayan a, a, a desconectarse de la llamada. So, don't do it right now, please. No lo hagan todavía. So, solamente fíjense. Just look at this. Go to the bathroom. Okay, but don't do it, please. Right now, don't, don't just stay just like this, okay? Stay still. It still means inmóvil. S-T-I-L-L. S-T-I-L-L -L significa no moverse. Stay still, como todavía. ¿Verdad? Lo mismo es, stay still. Yes, Jacqueline, you want to say something? You raise your hand. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Okay. Right. I have a connection. Okay, not a problem. Como decía mi, 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 mi abuela, estás en misa, ¿verdad? Menos, estás en todo menos en misa. I mean, me, no you, Jacqueline. Me fijé que tenía la manita. Ok, go to the bathroom, pero no lo hagan todavía. ¿verdad? Solo quiero ver sus reacciones acá. Second thing. All right, second thing. Get as many pieces of toilet papers as you want. Ok. From the roll. But don't do it right now. You're going to go to the bathroom. Y agarren del, del paquete, ¿verdad? No agarren del que está en el baño en sí, ¿verdad? Sino que agarren del paquete, del nuevo, ¿verdad? Si es que tienen por ahí o vayan a la tienda, si tienen una tienda cerquita. <laughs> Or you just get, si tienen post-its, you know, get post-its. Si tienen páginas de, de, de cuaderno, you know, just get it, ¿ok? And just, you know, turn them off. Ok, and the next thing is, then be ready for the directions. And that's it. So right now, please, it's okay. Me pueden abandonar. You stand up. You go to the bathroom, or donde tienen el, 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 el papel higiénico, you get the toilet paper, and then you just get some rolls, ¿verdad? Agarran, you just grab some, and you just put it in your hand. Just go quickly, please. It's okay, stand up. It's okay, stand up. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, sir. Stand up, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, let's try to do it, right? You may say, teacher is crazy. Yes, I'm a little bit crazy, you know, but that's okay. So, Mr. Mr. Lima, stand up, sir, and get some paper, please. All right. But no lo piense mucho, ¿verdad? Don't think too much, you know. Don't tw think twice, okay? Don't be like, like this singer, you know, like Sir Elton Jones. Don't think twice, all right? So. It's okay? Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's your decision, you know. This is a free country. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You know, this is a democracy, you know, it's a democracy, you know, it's democracy. Usted decide, ¿verdad? Si agarra un monopolio y lo deja todo sin papel higiénico, it's a monopoly or you just save, <laughs> save them for later, all right? Nice. After this, I'm going to ask Mr. Christopher. Christopher, what's your last name, sir? Aguilar. You're right. I was going to say Ayala, but I, I wasn't in that color, okay? Because you have it. So, Christopher, can you show the paper that you have? Can you show it to us? Show the paper, please. But just, just grab some. Enrollese un poquito. You know, roll some. 
Vaya, ya. That's it. Ahora, arránquelo. Tear it off. You know, just tear it off. Now, could you please count, Christopher, how many pieces do you have? ¿Cuántos cortecitos tiene? No es necesario que los corte. You don't have to cut them. How many do you have? My question to you, dear Christopher, is are you in trouble or not? <laughs> How many, sir? How many? Uh, 40. 14. 14. All right, 14. All right, 14. That's a lot, sir. You're, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble, a little bit in trouble. You are in, in big problems right now. Pero no se preocupe, don't worry about that. I'm going to ask a, a, a lady over here. Mrs. Perez or Miss Perez, Jasmine. So how many pieces of paper do you have? Eight. Eight. You got six. Eight. Eight. You, six, you said? No, eight. Ah, eight, eight. I'm sorry. Okay, my bad. You said eight. All right. Uh, so what I told you is grab some toilet paper. Agarrar se dice grab, ¿verdad? Si lo agarran de la mano es grab, grab, ok, grab. Si usted agarra algo, toma algo como take, ¿verdad? Take también es como tomar, pero agarrar algo en sí, ¿verdad? Tomar. Alguien que me ilustre ahí con la palabra en español correcta, no solamente agarrar, sino que algo, una palabra un poquito más ilustre de agarrar, grab. Sostener. Tomar. Sosten tomar, quizás, ¿verdad? But not like in December, right? Tomar, right? You know, grab, you know. <laughs> It's okay. right. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. grab, grab something. So, lo voy a poner en, en, en grupo de tres. Hay algo aquí en, en Zoom que se llama breakout rooms. Okay, I'm going to, for, for the ones that are familiar with this, eh, you know what, what we're going to do. Breakout room. A mí me gusta llamar los cuartitos. Okay, and but these are you know breaker rooms. You're gonna be practicing in groups of three. And what what you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to say the number of pieces of paper that you have about you. For example, uh, let's see, Mr. Jimenez, Mr. Roberto Jimenez. If you have ten pieces of paper, you're going to share with your classmates. Ten things about you, about your family, acerca de la alianza, del águila, del falo que sea. Your things that you want to say, sir. All right? So, it, it, something about you or something that you would like to people to know about you. So, you choose. If you have Mr. Miranda, Fernando, if you have five, lucky you. Suerte, ¿verdad? Fue, you, you were clever, you know. Uh, it, that, that's it. But you're going to practice in groups of three. Lo voy a mandar a los breaker rooms for the next five minutes. That's what you're going to do. And try to practice, please. Are we good? You say yes. You say no. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Ni modo. Ni modo, dicen ustedes. Anyway. Vea. Para donde me hago, decían. All right, so I'm going to make the, the, uh, the groups. We have 22 participants, so there will be a group of four, but that's okay. Um, somos 22, contándome, ¿verdad? Eh, let's see, siete grupos. There we go. All right, uh, you're going to get a, a message, o sea, a message will pop up, así, ¿verdad? Pop up, como las, como las palomitas, ¿verdad? pop up, just like this. And then you're going to be able to see it. Primer grupo. The first group is Ana, Isabel, Bobby Jimenez, and Janet León. Join, please. Second one, Jacqueline, Jose, Ramirez, Juan Pablo, Paparicio. Number three, Alma, Ernesto, and Kevin. Number four is Arely, Jasmine, and Lorena. Number five is Karen, Mauricio, Noemi. Six, Francisco, Isabel, and Juan Solis. And the last one is Anna, Christopher, and Fernando. I'm going to visit you around. All right? Vamos a visitarlos. When I visit you. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. Who starts? Who wants to start? Latest or, or the only gentleman we have?
Oh, I thought it was a gentleman, but it's Israel, Israel, right? Right. All right, so who wants to start with this activity? Quien comienza con, con sus, con sus, with your participation over here? Would you like to start, Mr. Villeda? Isael, would you like to start, please? Teacher, yo no, en realidad no entendí lo que vamos a hacer. Vaya, no se preocupe. Lo que va a hacer es, eh, no sé si ya agarró el papel higiénico, eh, Isael. No, un pedazo de papel tengo. Vaya, no, 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 no se preocupe. Uh, hagamos algo así estándar. Piense en cinco cosas que quiero compartirle a sus compañeros. Ya sea que ya se los, los conoce, se los puede, o es la primera vez que usted los mira. Cinco cosas de usted. It could be your age, if you have a job, if you have a children, children if you are married, etc. Si le gusta ir a la playa, something like that. Ok. Ok. So, go ahead, please. Ok. Hello, my name is Israel. My favorite color is green. Uh, my team, my favorite team is Real Madrid. Okay. I I live in San Salvador. Okay. I I have. 26 years old. All right. I like to play free fight. Nice. So you like that. to play. Okay. That's okay, sir. Nice to meet you, Isabel. Um, nice to meet you. So, just one thing over here. So, ¿Cómo dice favorito usted, perdón, Isabel? Favorito. All right. Favorite. Thank you so much. All right, and como, como decimos nosotros, and this goes to everyone, como decimos nosotros, yo tengo tantos años de edad, perdón. I am All right. 34 years old. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So try to remember that, uh, Mr. Villeda. You say favorite, favorite. My favorite uh, soccer team is Real Madrid. And my favorite thing to do is blah, blah, blah. That's what you say. And then I am, you know, I am, am. Or you can say am. Just am. I'm Isabel Villeda. I'm 20 years old. I'm 26 years old. I'm single. You say am. Am. Como que se va a morder la lengua. Am. Am. Se siente raro al principio, but that's uh, the way it should be done. And um, unfortunately, everyone, I gotta visit some other rooms. Necesito ir de the room and room. Uh, ir visitándolos para ir más o menos interactuando. So, I don't know if you're next, Mr. Roberto Jimenez, or you, Mrs. Ruth, yes. or Janet. Okay. So I gotta, I gotta go, okay? Me tengo que ir. Okay, bye, right. teacher. Right. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Isaiah. That's kidding, that's kidding. <laughs> no, that's okay, I mean, that's okay. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. All right, surprise. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. As, as uh, hi. <laughs> it's only you two over here. Yes, and um, Jacqueline, she had Connection problems. All right, she had connections problems over there. Did you did you introduce your, yourself already? Uh, yes. Uh, we are explaining to she how this activity. All right. And but, and so uh, do you go by Jose or Arturo, Mr. Ramirez? Um. Either way. Either way. Yeah, either way. Either way. You say cualquiera. Either way. Either way. Either way. All right. All right. So I'm going to call you Arthur, you know. Yes. <laughs> like King yes. Arthur. All right. So um, could you please introduce yourself, please? I don't know. What you do, if you have family or something that you, that you want oh. to share with us, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, my name is Jose Arturo Ramirez Bernal. I am 36 years old right. and I have two kids. Um, I'm a technician in air conditioning system. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I work every day uh, with, without time. Yeah. 
yeah that that's what we do right to make a living <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah and yeah. <laughs> sorry sorry not a problem jacqueline you're back in here <laughs> yeah and and, and and arthur how many pieces of paper did you get yes um, i show you <laughs> i show it. i i have you have too rows. many right you have too many uh, right? many as 12 12 pieces 12, 12 pieces 12 all right pieces. 12 yes. pieces okay so. but i think that's enough that's enough sir uh so you have two kids you said and then you had an um, air conditioning technician, right? Yeah. And then what you do is, you know, to survive, and that's what we do, you know, to work yeah. every single day, you know, mm -hmm. nonstop. Yes. Uh, what we say it is around the clock, around the clock. No sé por qué se dice así, pero es around the clock. Es como without schedule, around the clock, yeah. around the clock. That's what we say. So nice to meet you, sir. So we go with Juan Pablo or with Jacqueline. Tiramos una moneda así. <laughs> Juan Pablo. We, we, we say the ladies first. Ladies uh, first, right? Yeah. We are yeah. gentlemen. We're gentlemen, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. Go ahead, Jacqueline, please. Um, yeah. I know. I, I am traveling and. Okay. But you're not um, driving right now. Okay, yes. Yes. So tell us about you, please. Just tell us about you. So you're Jacqueline. We want to know more about you. You know, you are right now in the spotlight. ¿verdad? But I think uh, the screen got, <laughs> got frozen. Vamos a sacarle un meme, pues, entonces. Mentira. <laughs> and we're just kidding. Mr. Juan Pablo. A sticker. On. A sticker, right? A sticker. <laughs> <laughs> una gran cosa los stickers sí, uh, you know, sí. they're a big deal they, they are a big deal you know, una gran cosa a big sí. deal nice uh, so Juan Pablo go ahead please <laughs> sí. uh, I cook I cook seven piece alright that's a decent number proper, see? I am electrician I work in every, every, every day yes mm -hmm. I'm I'm too uh, uh, 30, 30, 16 years old. You are 36, uh, you said. Sí, 36. Just like, I just do. like, just like Arthur. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Sí. Nice. Sí, too. Yes, too. Yes, okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, now, Jacqueline is back now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Jacqueline, vamos a interrumpir esta, esta programación por Jacqueline, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jacqueline. You know, I think I think that Jacqueline needs, needs an, an electrician right now, so he, she needs your help, Juan Pablo. Report the light. Okay. Hi, Jacqueline. Go ahead, please. Um. Okay. Yes. Um. I have um. I have a, a two a two piece toilet paper. Mm -hmm. uh, I confused. Well, you're confused. Just tell us about you. I mean, I'm yeah. Jacqueline. Um, I don't know. I like to. I don't know anything you want to say about us. Or you're still thinking over this. Let me ask you then, what do you do What do you do you for a living, Jacqueline, if you want to know? What do you do for a living? Do you, do you, do you work? I have a, a mal connection picture. Oh, okay. So that's okay. But at least I know Arthur and also have uh, Mr. Juan Pablo. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go back to the main station. You know, let's go back to the main station so we can continue, all right? So okay, it, it, nice it, to meet you, Juan Pablo. Nice, and nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you, teacher. Yes. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, everyone. You too.
Al terminar. Como código aventura. Continuación. <ríe> Además. <ríe> All right. De hecho, a la misma hora sale ese programa. ¿verdad? It's the same time right now. At the same time. Same time, right? But a different channel in here. So let's let's get to business in here. What about this? Apparently, this is how people are protecting themselves from the coronavirus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and this was a reality. Uh, can you see the screen I'm sharing with you? Yeah, is the screen visible either? Can you see the screen? Sí, sí, sí estoy compartiendo la pantalla. ¿Alcanzan a ver o no? Yes, yes. yes. Right, so yes, I'm, I'm sharing yes. the, I'm, you can see it. Okay, thank you. Yes. Hold on, somebody is... Right. Oops. Uy, oh, siento que me están lavando el cerebro ¿verdad? con el sonido de eso. <laughs> All right. So apparently, this is how people are protecting themselves from the coronavirus. Remember at the beginning of this pandemic, back in March, I think, people got crazy. They went to the supermarket and they grabbed a lot of toilet paper. Okay? I don't know why, but they did that. Okay, so that was crazy. So that's why you have this meme. And remember, sin memes, la vida no tiene gracia. Y sin stickers, you know, without stickers and without memes, life has no sense. At least, you know, yes, emojis too, yes. But stickers, you know, are, you can be, ustedes son, you are a, 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 a person, you know, or someone, you know, you have the potential to become a sticker, so be careful. <laughs> Todos tenemos el potencial de que nos hagan stickers, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's everybody has the potential. So tonight we're going to start with this conversation. Okay. We're going to make a habit of this class to practice conversations. Practice conversations in pairs, practice conversations, you know, in groups of three. You're gonna practice with me, with your classmates, etc. Let me ask this in general. Have you checked out the platform? Ya revisaron la plataforma. Ya ingresaron. Ya revisaron los contenidos. For example, did you check yes. that already? All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. Did you sure. see? All right. Did you see this conversation in the platform, by the way? Yes. So yes. what I'm doing, what mm -hmm. I'm doing is, you know, I'm using the same information from yes. the platform. Yes, teacher. All right, but I'm but I'm I'm presenting the information to you as a textbook. You know, like like an old school. Uh, English class. So, and this is this is my goal, to make you feel like you're really in the, that you are really in a classroom. Okay. And, and that being said, I'm going to play the listening for this conversation. All right. Right. Okay. So, let me just just one second over here. Right. Okay. Believe it or not, como un programa hace como 20 años de replay. Believe it or not. Okay. Uh, I got the listening for this, okay? I got the listenings for this. And ladies and gentlemen, let me say this in Spanish. Yo aprendí con este libro, por cierto. Con este, no con la plataforma de inglés, de oh. E4CC, but this brings memory to me. You know, I, I learned this and that's why I have this material, okay? Se lo digo con hechos y no es mentira, all right? I sí, learned sí, with sí. this book, you know, I learned with this. Okay, so just one second. Let's do let's do a, a, a trial, you know, hagamos como un intento, you know, trial and error, prueba y error. Uh, let's see if you can listen to this while I'm sharing this. Y me dicen, si se escucha, teacher, yes, I can listen to this, and then I'm going to let it play, all right? Okay. All right, okay. so just, just one second, come over here. Um, all right, so just one moment here. And... Let me look for the right screen in here. I have so many things. Let's see if I, here it is. There we go. So uh, what I'm gonna do for you before I, I play this, I'm going to send this this image to, to the chat, you know, but in, in this case, it's gonna be to WhatsApp, all right? And, and um, so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna listen to the audio, but you're gonna look at your cell phone or your computer, okay, for the conversation, all right? 
Is that understood, everyone? Yes. All right, thank you. You know, I don't like this, this tab over here, but we'll see. All right. So before I play, I play the listening for you. And we, we go back to practice. Let me send this to the chat. Y para probar que sí estoy en el en, en, en chat de su clase. All right. So let me just one second come over here. Yo trabajo eh, de lunes a viernes con, con otro, no con Zoom, ¿verdad? Pero trabajo con Teams. Entonces esto, para serles sincero, a veces me cuesta un poquito por que no soy tan familiarizado, ¿verdad? Pero, no, I'm learning. That's the team over here. So, just one second. Siéntase en la, en la confianza de sacar un screenshot también ustedes, ¿verdad? Si ustedes son más rápidos con esto y compartirla, you can also do it. So, I'm doing this as I'm speaking. All right? So, feel free to do this. Uh, so, it's 9 to 10. And there we go. Sorry, you know, to be wasting your time. It's loading. There we go. Did you get it? Yeah, I get it. All right. So, you got it there. All right. Appreciate that. Um, so now, let me let me uh, play this for you right now, and then here we go. CD one, unit one. Please call me Beth. Page two, exercise one, conversation. Where are you from? Listen and practice. Hello. I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Are you able to listen? Yes. 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 All right. All right. All right. So let me go back, yes. you know, to yes. the beginning and then we take it from there. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Action. CD one. Unit one. Please call me Beth. Page two. Exercise one. Conversation. Where are you from? Listen and practice. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son, he is here. Who's son he? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. All right. As I said, this brings back uh, memories to me, all right? You know, you may be wondering, so I hope, you know, English will be, you know, as easy as it, as it looks over here, right? Because <laughs> it looks a little bit easy. So uh, I'm going to ask you any questions for me about the pronunciation for this. Or if there are no questions, let go, let's go to practice, okay? Any questions? No questions? Should we practice already? No questions. No questions. Right. No questions. That's great. That's great. So let's see how many we have. 24 participants. This is a record for me already. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, you know, the replay. Uh, let's see. So we're going to make 12 pairs. And here we go. Try to join the breaker room, please. And here we go. Uh, we got Adelise uh, with Juan Pablo, Karen with Roberto, Christopher with Mauricio, Ernesto with Rosa, Francisco with Janet. Join the, join the rooms, please. Uh, Kevin with Noemi, Fernando with Lorena, um, Alma with uh, Jose, Arturo, Arthur, Isael with Jacqueline, and then we go, etc. Try to practice at least two times, please. You're going to be David, and then you're going to be Beth. And then you switch back, okay? Meet you. I'm gonna meet you in the in the rooms. Okay. So Alma, could you please join the the room? Hey, Jose is waiting for you. There we go. Uh, Jacqueline, could you please join? Uh, Mr. Villeda is waiting for you. Uh, 
So Anna, could you please uh, join? Mr. Solis is waiting for you. And all right, so I'm going to join. All right, so Jacqueline, are you having any problems with your connections? Or are okay. we? All right, so join the room, please. Uh, all right, so um, Isael, sir. Hello, yeah, let's, let's try to practice this, okay? This conversation. This is what you're here for, okay? All right? Okay. So I'm going to be Beth and you're going to be David. So go ahead, please. Look, look at my screen, please. Look at my screen. Yes, okay. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico, it's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, so he is here. Who's oh, so he? She's my classmate, we're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea, let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. All right, so nice to meet you, David. All right, so now, eh, Let's see, now we're going to the role, Cisael, okay? So Jacqueline, can you hear us over here? No, she can't, she can't hear us over here. All right, I'm just gonna mute her microphone because we cannot hear. All right, let's see, I'm gonna mute, okay. All right, so uh, so Isael, you're going to be uh, Beth now, and then I'm going to be uh, David, all right? So unmute your microphone. Quítele el mudo a su, a su micrófono, por favor. There we go, all right. Okay. So he hello, I'm David Garza. Uh, I'm, a new, uh, I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva. But please ca call me Beth. All right, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. I know, but this time is uh, I'm David. Okay, we we made a mistake in here. So it was. Uh, so let's start over, please. Okay, so I'm David and you're Beth. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry about that, sir. Okay. So hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How do you have? How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. So he is here. Who's Sonhi? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. And where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia. Garcia. Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R Z A. All right. So okay. right right now we're gonna go back to the main station, uh, sir, Israel, and then we're gonna practice something else. Okay, that's it. Okay, Thank you. Thanks for your time, sir. Okay. All right, just one. All right, so welcome back, everyone. All right, so you're still here. You know that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, can somebody just 
practice this in front of the class? Who says yes? Who says I need a gentleman and I need a lady to practice this? So we move forward. Francisco says yes, and then a lady, raise your hand, please. Yo, Karen. Karen, okay. So of course, Francisco, you're going to be David, and then Miss Karen, you'll be Beth. All right? Go ahead, please. All right. Hello, I'm David Garza, and a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Soon he is here. Who is Soon He? She is my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R C A. All right, so thank you for that. Uh, so remember, G A R Z A. Okay? But it, it, it was great. It was great. Remember Korea. 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 Yes. Korea. How do you say how do you say Korea del Norte, Korea del Sur in, in English? How do you say that? Korea. North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. South Korea. So yes, you say yes. You say uh North Korea and South Korea. South, South. Korea. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. You know Kim Jong un right? And then the other one. Okay, now just to give you some context on this one, let me just mute mute your microphone, you know, to avoid the interference over here. All right. Um, sorry about that. In English, when you introduce to someone and that person is from a different country, let's say from the, uh, you're speaking to someone from India or from Asia, from Japan, and you are from El Salvador, and then you say my last name is Jimenez, for example. Keep in mind that someone from the States, a native speaker, might not understand, you know, how your last name uh, is pronounced. That's why you got to spell it, okay? And that's the point over here. In El Salvador, if I say my, my name is Francisco Alfaro, of course, you know Alfaro, how to spell it, right? You're not going to say, how do you spell it, Alfaro? Okay, you don't say that, right? But in English, that's the point here. That's why Beth... You know, she thinks, okay, it's Garza, because for them, that's, that's the name. That happens to Eugenio Derbez. They call, what's your name? Eugenio? Eugenio? Something like that, right? Or if your name is Juan, you know, uh, English uh, speaking people in the state, they say, what's your name? Juan? Juan? Like number one, right? So they don't have that sound. So uh, keep that in mind, okay? And besides that, if, if they don't know about geography, acerca de la geografía, they believe that below the United States, everybody belongs to Mexico. <laughs> Unfortunately, right? Yes, and that happens, okay? And let's continue, please. Let's see what time it is. We still have five more minutes, all right? Van a decir que explotador, pero no, you know, that's the way it is, all right? So yes. that's the way it is. And let's continue with this. Match the questions with the responses, listen and check, then practice with a partner. Give your own information. All right. In this case, I'm going to I'm going to uh again split you or divide you in, in purse right now. And then what you're gonna do, you're going to ask what's your name and how how you spell your name. Okay, how do people call you? For example, I'm gonna use the name of my tokayo, you know, my Nick same. So I'm calling him Francisco, but maybe he goes by Jose, like me, right? You can call me Jose, or you can call me Francisco, you can call me Frank. And my my older uh, colleagues, mis colegas un poquito mayores, they call me Chico because I'm young for them, okay? So it's up to you. For example, if you tell to a native speaker, le dicen a un, a un bien o mal llamado gringo, Okay, you can call me Chico. You was ah, you're Chico. So how do you, how do you say that? They will ask you. All right. So that's the context over there. Okay, and, and and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use your own information, like what's your name again? 
how do people call you how do you spell your last name to practice with your classmates so now what's your name how, do, how what do people call you and how do you spell your last name so try to if you think it's difficult to say your name try to write it down please your last name like for example my last name is alfaro you know a l f a r o but cruz is a little bit difficult too because my other last name is cruz you know c r u z if you ask me cuando me preguntan digo el, el, el apellido más cortito you know because it's easier <laughs> so you can do the same over there okay so um for the last thing of the evening i'm going to split you in, in purse again and this time you're going to say oh, hello my name is uh, i don't know arthur and or and you can call me art <laughs> for example right or, or tour or i don't know right <laughs> and then and they will say but people uh, how and my last name is spelled and then you say ramirez r a m i r e z it's a difficult last name sir by the way arthur to say so if i were you i would use the other one verdad? second option we got three minutes to do this okay so i'm going to split you into into purse again and after that, we say goodbye, all right? So join the rooms, please. We, have, we only have one more minute. Go, go ahead, please. Remember, you gotta say your name, how, how do people call you, and how do you spell your last name, all right? All right, so go ahead, please, and practice, gentlemen. Yes, um, let me check. Oh, yes. So you're, get, you're, you're getting ready right now. <laughs> y tu nombre? All right, so uh, let's try to practice, uh, Fernando. Um, so remember, ya, le mandé la imagen al, al WhatsApp para que mire oh. hacer. So I send the image to you. Oh, you're okay, gonna, okay. You're, you're going to say, so my name is Fernando Miranda. But you can call me, uh, I don't know, Fer or Nando, okay? okay? And then okay. my last name is spelled this, and you say, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, hello, uh, my name is Fernando Jose Duran. Mm -hmm. um, but, but you can call me, you can say, you can call me. <clears throat> Uh -huh. So, Fernando, you can say, but you can call me. You can say you. Oh, yeah. You can call me. Como quiere que lo llamamos? Oh, um, Fernando. Oh, so, in, in that case, you got to say, Fernando, you can. Uh, mire mi, mi, mi pantalla, por favor. Yeah, you, say, you, yes. you, you can call me. By the way, you can call. You can call me. Okay, now you can. Ah, you can call me uh, Fernando. All right. Yes. And how, yes. And how do you spell your last name, uh, Fernando? Uh, my last name is Duran. Yes. And, and how do you spell it? Mm -hmm. Lo deletrea. Como lo deletrea. Se le congeló la pantalla. All right. So we're gonna move with you, uh, Rosa, Mrs. Mrs. Lopez. Or you left already. All right. All right. So welcome back again. And uh, it's time to say goodbye. But before, before we say goodbye and that, 
let me just uh, go back to this point again. So the, the, the practice was, you say, hello, my name is uh, Jose Francisco Alfaro Cruz. In español, son como diez nombres, ¿verdad? <laughs> but in English, you just say, my name is Frank uh, Cruz, you know, Tom Cruz, you know. And, uh, but you can call me, uh, I don't know, Chepe, for example. And uh, my last name is, uh, is Alfaro, and it's spelled A-L-F-A-R-O. Just a tip, como un consejo. Try to memorize the way you uh, spell your last name. Memorizense, ¿verdad? Su, su, el deletreo de su apellido. Okay. So right now, just, to, uh, we're going to we're gonna go back to this tomorrow. That's the first thing we're going to do tomorrow. So for tomorrow, this is the homework that you have. Memorize how, how you spell your first and your last name, ¿verdad? Vamos a memorizarnos como usted deletrea su primer y su apellido. Okay. Your first and last name, okay? So nice to meet you, everyone. I gotta say goodbye. Time is up. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Gracias a Dios, voló. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock already. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Okay. I, I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.